In this video, we're gonna be using straight gold shave Honest Ape and the timeless titanium razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today and happy Independence Day to you. And today we have a red, white, and blue shave. And I'm gonna tell you what, the scent on this soap is so good. I'm gonna put on some splash before I even get started. I can't help myself. I love the scent of Strike Gold Shave Honest Abe. It is such a great citrus scent. It is based on the no longer produced Ultra Zest Cologne and woo hoo hoo. Oh man, woo! <laughs> just such a great invigorating scent. I love these citrus scents that just, I don't know, they make you go, 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 or at least they make me go. Okay, let's talk about so. Straight Gold Shave Honest Abe, again, based on Ultra Zest. We'll put the notes for you on the screen. This is a terrific scent. As soon as you pop the top on the tub, a citrus punch in the face. It's it's just beautiful. It's got uh, tangerine, blood orange, ginger, coffee, vanilla. Complex, but absolutely tremendous. If you like citrus uh, scents, this is probably a winner for you. Uh, you can get it at Strike Gold Shave for $23 for five ounces or $4.60 an ounce on our cost chart there, with, which is a fair price. But you can also get it at the Razor Company, and as of last night, it was on sale. So check there, too. I'll put links for you below. This is in the Patriot base, which is a tallow base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Really good quality soap. Probably underrated, in my opinion. And the scent is definitely overrated. Don't let Honest Abe, humble Honest Abe, fool you. This is a banger of a scent and absolutely love it. And it was a great choice, I think, for Independence Day. And of course, we got the we got the flag there and we got the blue here. We got the blue Lancaster towel there. Uh, we have a little red in the flag there and we'll have white. I mean, this is just gonna be a fun shave today. The razor for today, this just, this to me just says American. Timeless, made here in the United States. This is their titanium with the crown handle. Absolutely phenomenal. The titanium razors at Timeless start out at 225, grade five uh, titanium. This one is the 0.95 blade gap and it features the above the tie open comb, the rounded open comb, which is, in my opinion, the best design in open comb because the open comb aren't sharp to the touch. They're very, they're very smooth and very nice. Got the scalping on the top. This is a magnificent razor made here in the United States. 0.95 leg gap, but you can also get it in 0.68. Terrific razor, and to me, it's just American. The blade is also American. It is the uh, Persona Lab Blue. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna start by misting the face. We have our standard 24 hours of growth. I'm gonna apply just a little moisture there to the face, and uh, we have our Captain's Choice bowl here, which has a nice lather whipped up in it. Here is our brush today. There's the white, and man, oh man. This one is gonna be enjoyable and that is good stuff right there all right let's get after it oh man i've been looking forward to this shave because the scent on this soap just i don't know it's it's crazy good and i'm really surprised that uh no, don't get me wrong a lot of people like the scent but it doesn't get the fanfare that it deserves if i were putting together an all-time all-time great scent list this one would be on it this one would definitely be on it, it would definitely be in my top 10 cents of all time. That's how good I think it is. And every time I smell it, it just gets me going. There's something about these bright scents that they they get me going. They invigorate me, they, they you know, energize me. And I think uh, you should use the type of products that really make you happy. You know, there are some people who go, oh, he only likes lime and citrus and all that. Well, that's not true, but those are the scents that really, make me feel good and, and just energize me. And so when I get the chance to use one, I want to use it. Um, and in my purchasing habits, you know, I'm a sucker for for lime and citrus and, and bright scents of all sort, really. Um, to me, the darker scents just don't do it for me. They're sort of the opposite, you know, kind of depressing, dark. And, and that's not that's not to say if you prefer those scents, there's anything wrong with it, because there certainly is, isn't it? but just use what you enjoy. And we're gonna do that today because this is gonna be a phenomenal shave. And that is smooth as silk right there. One, one of the razors I wanna try from Timeless, uh, I, have a, uh, I have a stainless steel slim. 
I want to try a titanium slim head from Timeless. That would be phenomenal. Um, you know, again, titanium in weight is between aluminum and stainless steel. So you get some good heft and um, it feels substantial without feeling cumbersome. And it just feels good. Now, some people, you know, like I said, like I said yesterday, when we used the, uh, the, the Blackbird, some people just don't like titanium. They feel like it's overkill for material for a safety razor. And that is entirely okay if that's your point of view, but don't ruin it for the rest of us because we do like it. <laughs> oh man, scent on this soap. Absolute winner. I can't say enough good things about it. If you like citrus, I think it's a nearly can't miss. Um, fantastic. And I love the way this razor rinses. It's got some nice uh, lather ports there. As you're rinsing it, it sort of shoots out those uh, rinse ports. And that's just kind of fun too. I don't know, today's just fun overall. By the way, if you missed our uh, show the other night with uh, on Real Talk with Sneaky Pete, uh, check that out. I will link it below for you. That That is a good one. I'll pop it up in one of the corners here for you too. But continue on with this one because <laughs> this is also a good one. Wow, we nice smooth first pass with our timeless. Really, really nice. And that crown handle, that titanium crown handle is the best. Um, well, it's my favorite handle probably in all of shaving. This knurling is grippy without feeling grippy. Um, in other words, it's not aggressive. It doesn't, you know, it, but it provides grip. It's just a, it's a magnificent design. All right, let's get into pass two here because I could blab all day about this. I forgot to mention the brush. The brush is the AP Shave Co. with the cashmere knot. I call this brush the white wizard because Obviously, it's white, <laughs> but it also feels magical for what it's worth. Man, oh man. This is good stuff right here. Again, Strike Gold Shave. Uh, a little underrated in terms of their soap. You know, there's plenty of great soaps on the market, and this is one of them as well. It doesn't always get the credit, and it, you know, I've said before, it could be sometimes due to labels because uh, I, I don't want to generalize, but I think... Um, in some ways, some of the newer shavers are more attracted to different styles of labels. However, when I've said this in the past, there are also people who, uh, who made comments below and said, I really like the, you know, presidential series of labels. So, you know, some people do like it, some don't, but you're never going to please everyone. But I tell you what, the scent and the quality on this soap should be pleasing most people. As long as you're not opposed to a, uh, a citrus forward scent. It's just beautiful. In fact, um, I had never tried the Ultra Zest fragrance. And as soon as I smelled this, I was like, why did they discontinue that? This is great. This is great. But, you know, not everything goes on forever. So there we go. Okay. Pass number two with our Timeless. Again, this is made in Ohio by the uh, good folks at Timeless. And they... Uh, they are a family business. They machine their own razors. They don't outsource them. Not that there's any problem with uh, outsourcing, meaning sending it somewhere else to have it machined. They do it right in their own shop and they do it well. They have good customer service. If you're a veteran and you're buying your razor, if you select that box, you get a, a free gift um, and they make them in Ohio here in the United States. And to me, this just says American. It's kind of bold, you know, it kind of stands out. It's like, hey, I'm here and I'm not putting up with any mess, you know. <laughs> that's what that's what this razor says to me. Oh man, very nice, very nice indeed. Terrific. Sometimes you just get lost in the shave uh, because it's so enjoyable. And uh, this is definitely one of those days. And when you have a, a scent like this and a, a great soap and a great razor like this, it just makes such a great pairing. And it's about enjoyment. You just get 
when you hold on to something like this, the level of enjoyment, you can hold it in your hand and really admire it, that adds something to your experience. It may not add an iota to the actual shave itself. So if you're interested in just a utilitarian sort of um, experience, like you're, just, you're looking to get in the restroom shave and get out, then I completely understand um, not being interested in this sort of a thing. But from the perspective of something really nice, that you use and it just feels great in the hand. And then when it's setting out there, it's like, man, that's a nice piece, you know. The enjoyment part of this hobby really, um, I can't tell you how important that is because we've taken something that most of us did not like doing uh, before we started traditional style shaving. We took something that was tedious and monotonous and we made it something fun and something that also has connected us to others. It's connected us to people all over the world. Uh, shaving, of all things, I mean, that's nuts, right? <laughs> all right, let's wet the face a little bit. It's nuts that this, what many people find to be a very monotonous and tedious thing, has connected us. And I've made lifelong friends via this hobby. And it, it's just, I can't say en enough good things about what it has done for me. And that's why I love it. That's why from the day I started making videos, the goal was always let's evangelize for this hobby, which is why I called my channel TSE, Traditional Shaving Evangelist. And I'm still very much a, a traditional shaving uh, evangelist. It was funny, the other day, a gentleman was watching my Sterling video where I was, uh, and I mentioned Piacenza in that video. And I think I did that video last year or so. And I said, you know, I sent Rod samples of uh, Aqua de Parma and so on. And then he made uh, Piacenza based on my, uh, uh, well, I asked him to do it and I sent him samples. And the guy uh, pointed out, he was like, oh, well, it's funny, this other guy said he was the one who inspired Piacenza. And it was it was my old channel. So <laughs> he didn't know it was me. So I got a chuckle out of that. I said, yep, that's me. <laughs> Just looks a little different. Had some hair then. It was, you know, it was very much in retreat like Marion's, but... Uh, um, I had some hair then. Anyway, anyway, um, this is just such an enjoyable thing. Share it. I'm never in, I'm never in people's face about sharing it. So, you know, I'm not going to go and just single out people off the street and, and try to convince them, but people who are interested in listening about it, I will certainly talk to you. <laughs> if they have interest, if they have questions. You know, we, we try to help them, and that's the great thing about this community. Wow, we nice and slick, the soap base, and it smells phenomenal. Again, I'm telling you, if you like citrus, this is a fantastic scent. And the quality of the soap itself is fantastic. And, of course, the razor, there's no question that it's fantastic. Timeless does not put out any shoddy craftsmanship. They're very, very particular about the way they do things. And uh, it's a company that I've liked for many, many years and continue to. And uh, really good people at, at Thomas. But again, I want to get one of those slim heads in titanium. I think that would be awesome. So the next time I get something from Timeless, assuming they don't put out something new, that'll be what I'll get is uh, a slim in uh, in titanium with that open comb, I think that would be phenomenal in titanium. But again, completely understand who, people who think titanium is overkill. Is it needed? No, uh, not in terms of getting a great shave, because you could use their aluminum, you could use their, what do they have, uh, bronze? You could use their stainless, all will deliver fantastic shaves. But the titanium weight for me is perfect. Um, again, it gives you the feeling of, it gives you the feeling of quality that it feels significant without feeling cumbersome. And it, it just, it's awesome. And, uh, the Persona Lab Blue is a good match for this razor, I believe. Terrific shave today, man. I tell you what, you just can't beat it. Awesome shave, great scent, you know, 
No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubble, bubbles, troubles. You can't beat that. And it's very, very enjoyable. And I'm very, very grateful for all of you who join me for these shaves. I'm grateful for you older, not older folks in age, but folks who have been with me for a long time, including the original channel. I'm grateful for those of you who are new. And I'm grateful for every person who comes into the the hobby and subsequently spreads the word and go, hey, I, I discovered this way of shaving. You're not going to believe it. I love it. And then people will give you a look like, what? <laughs> All right. That is good stuff. All right. Uh, excellent shave today. Let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in Alcan. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied the alum. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave. After the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the Thayer's Cucumber Watermelon Magic, because it's made by witches. I'm gonna tell you, today was a phenomenal shave. There's no fireworks outside right now that you can hear, but there's some fireworks inside here, because this scent is blowing up. Let me tell you, this is good stuff. Don't wait until it's sold out. Get it now if you would like to get it because <laughs> it's such a great scent. The Timeless Titanium Razor is just phenomenal in, in every regard. Absolutely love it. Top rate craftsmanship. It looks good. It is good. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I want to show you also the, the amount of soap that's left over. This Strike Gold Base is not one of those soft, goopy bases that of course, sort of disappears on you. I use more than I needed um, because it yields a little more lather than some of the more skin foody soaps. Not that this one doesn't have skin food because it does, but it's very pleasurable to lather. Okay, let's hit it with uh, Honest Abe going out. And by the way, we'll have a head shave coming up later today, which will also be sort of Independence Day theme. So please stay tuned for that a little bit later. And we're gonna slap this on. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Man, that's a great scent. I love it. You, I just, I can't get enough of it. This is absolutely one of my all time favorite scents. And the more I use it, the more I like it. The first time I ever used it, I liked it. And then I used it more and more. And I could not use this today on Independence Day. Thank you very much for joining me for this shave today. I hope wherever you are, you're having fantastic shaves. If you're in the United States, happy Independence Day. If you're not, happy day to you as well. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you to shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.